it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I wore video over the course of a couple of weeks combined with some vlogging that I did on those days. I want to thank Everlane for partnering with me for this video. Today I'm so excited because I get to share with you guys their new denim release that I am absolutely crazy about. I'm also going to be doing a really fun unboxing and try on at the very end of this video with some of their other products that are new. So please stay tuned for that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe because next week's video is going to be the video that I announce the crazy news that we have been holding on to and just dying to share with you guys. So I don't want you to miss that. So don't forget to ring the bell. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which outfit you like the best and let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey guys. So I have an outfit for you today based around my favorite new pair of blue jeans. Guys, I'm not even kidding you when I say that these are the best pair of high-waisted jeans that I have ever worn in my entire life. You guys, this is beating out the ribcage jean for me, which you guys probably know has been my favorite pair of jeans for a while, but let me tell you, Everlane did it better. They did it better, you guys. <laughs> this jean is so much more comfortable than the ribcage jean. Um, it has that nice high waist that I love that just like kind of cinches you in here. It's right above the belly button. It has the perfect amount of stretch, not too much stretch, but um, you know, just the right amount to make them really super comfortable. And I love the straight leg, you guys. It's so cute. It's not too tapered, not too wide leg. It's just perfect. I got these in a size 26, which is one size smaller than my usual. Um, so I would recommend sizing down if you are looking for looking to purchase these jeans. Um, I got these in the vintage indigo wash, which I love. I think it's just such a classic dark wash, um, not too dark, um, just the perfect wash. Has the little butt pockets, the Everlane patch, and I just think they're such a flattering cut. What more can I say? I don't even know. I'm just like obsessed with these jeans, you guys. I posted about these on my Instagram stories and did a whole review on them. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was just in love at first sight. Highly recommend these jeans if you guys are interested in getting a great staple jean for your wardrobe that you can literally wear with everything. So I'm going to the beach today with my family. We're having like a family day. So I wanted to show you guys how I'm styling these jeans. So I wanna keep it casual. So I'm wearing this shirt that I thrifted. It's just kind of a fun little graphic tee. Of course, um, the words are flipped since you're looking at it in the mirror, <laughs> but I think it says the days of the week in French. And then I'm wearing my Converse that I got secondhand, thrifted these bad boys. Now I'm going to build my outfit on top of this. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna put on next. Okay, so I just thrifted this Monterey Bay Aquarium sweatshirt that I love. It's like the perfect vintage gray sweatshirt um, with the raglan sleeve cut and everything. It's just so cute. Um, but I like to give it a little tuck so you can highlight the high waist of your jeans and create more of a waist for yourself. Anyways, it just kind of takes it up a notch. You know what I mean? It's not so frumpy looking. Um, okay, so then I am gonna throw a coat on over this and then a beanie to top it off to kind of give it a little bit extra character. All right, guys, here is the outfit. I threw on this Everlane Renew channeled liner, which I've been waiting to get one of these, you guys. I have been seeing them for so long and really have loved them. They come in a couple different colors, but I've been after this dark moss green color. It's so cute. I love that it's reminiscent of a vintage military liner, but like with a different little spin on it. The square pockets right here are so cute. 
it's just a really nice like lightweight yet warm jacket which is perfect for san francisco because it can start getting chilly like any minute and you don't want to have to carry around a really heavy jacket um sometimes you know because the weather can change and then it can get warm and then you have to take your jacket off and lug around this heavy coat but this one is warm while also being lightweight and just so practical for the city for a second layer so i tossed on this vintage beanie here's the final look going to the beach we're just gonna go hang out so yeah see you guys later bye outfit of the day we've had a hard week and we want to go out for drinks at one of our favorite places in the sunset district called white cap they have like a little seating area outside and so we're gonna go do that so i wanted to share my outfit of the evening with you so starting out i have on my everlane way high jean in coal i have been waiting for a good pair of black high-waisted denim i haven't had one that is a straight leg and so i'm so happy to have this one so i paired them here with my vintage garfield shirt it's kind of like an orangey color you know if you've been following me for a while you know that i love garfield i'm always looking on depop and like all of those you know secondhand websites for vintage garfield shirts now I actually have three in my collection. Anyways, I have on my tennis shoes, which I've been wearing nonstop. Actually thrifted these guys. I'm gonna put on a second layer and a hat because you gotta stay warm with a beanie in San Francisco. So I'm kind of doing this like, I don't know, what is this? Analogous color scheme. That's when they're all, all the colors are next to each other on the color wheel. I've got this kind of, I don't know, pumpkin-y rust colored chore jacket from Everlane. This is one of my favorite chore jackets that I own. I wear it nonstop. I love this as a second layer. First of all, I wanted to show the Garfield. I didn't want to cover that up with a sweatshirt or a sweater. And I didn't feel like wearing a cardigan because it's too soft. It's not the vibe I was going for. I was kind of like going for something that's a little bit more like... I don't know, workwear. So I have this chore jacket, which is like the perfect second layer. And then I threw on my Everlane Carpenter beanie, which I need to beg them to bring these back because they haven't had them for a while. I know they do have another beanie though right now, which is amazing. I think it's a cashmere one. So I'll link that for you guys. Um, now I need another warmer coat to go on top of this. Margo's joining me. This is the Everlane Rewool in toffee color. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it because I've just always wanted a coat that was like in a neutral color, but I just don't feel like I look very great in beige. 
or tan. And I always find these coats in beige or tan, but this is like a really rich, beautiful toffee color. I love that. It's like an orangey color. And then I have this adorable black Everlane purse. I think it's just a perfect staple. It's great. It's so big. It carries so much and it basically just goes with everything. Here's my final look and I'll see you guys later. Bye. back with another outfit of the day so I am going to the grocery store with little bubs behind me so I just wanted to share my super simple outfit actually it's starting out simple but I think it's gonna be a little bit more complicated I have my way high jeans on and vintage indigo because I've been like living in these pants lately and then this is a tie-dye shirt that I thrifted um, and then I'm gonna put an Everlane sweater on over the top of that and then I just got these cute little collars. So I'm thinking about layering that on top of the sweater. Okay guys, I have on the oversized alpaca crew knit sweater. It's one of my favorite sweaters that they make. I have it in mustard and I also have it in gray. I put this little collar on the top of it because I thought it was so cute to add. Bubs doesn't like it. You don't like the collar? <laughs> I've been wearing this collar a lot lately and wearing it on top of different things. Um, it's by this girl, Big Baby Goes to Work on Instagram. And then I am wearing my Everlane tread sneakers. I'm feeling like, like a real mom today. Okay, so I threw on some glasses because I thought it added a nice little touch. Okay, I switched to my phone because my camera kept messing up. Hi, what is that sound? <laughs> okay, Bubs, your outfit today. You've got on some cool green overalls. You got on a cute little striped hoodie underneath, and uh, it buttons up. And then you got on your cool hand-me-down toms that we got from someone. And then his uh, gray beanie. I got these beanies on Amazon. They're really soft and we got like a four pack of them. So he wears them all the time. And he's been drooling a ton. So normally I have a little like drool bib on him, but today the overalls are catching it in his little, his little pocket, huh? I'll see you guys later. Say bye, Monty. Bye. Hey guys, back with another outfit of the day. So today we are going on a walk through Golden Gate Park. I wanted to wear just like a very relaxed weekend look. Um, so I started with my black way high jeans that I'm in love with. Oh, it's just my favorite pan ever. Okay, <laughs> you guys are done hearing about how much I love it. Um, and then I put on this thrifted top that I recently got in my thrifting my Pinterest video. And then I paired it with my alpaca cardigan from Everlane. This cardigan is so cozy and soft and just the silhouette and everything about it just says like, I'm having a cozy, relaxed weekend. I love that. Also, I know that it's going to be warm because it's alpaca and wool. Bringing my Everlane purse and final touches are these vintage sunglasses that I have. Pretty fun. This part snaps off and then you have these regular glasses underneath, which I think are pretty cute. Anyways, here we go. So we have the head to toe final look and we are off on a family walk to the park. See you guys later. Bye.
guys back with another outfit of the day and to be quite honest today is a very difficult day monty is having some sort of leap in his development i think because he's been non-stop fussing all day long and unless you're holding him and even sometimes when you're holding him he's just he's just agitated and upset I'm like just hold out a little bit longer monty because we're gonna go to the zoo and it's gonna be better so yeah so we're planning on going to the zoo today normally i don't like zoos but i don't know i feel like it'll be something fun to do and i'm gonna go with Kristen. so thankfully jason is going to take monty right now and try to lay down with him to take a nap okay so for today's zoo outfit i wanted to show you guys how i'm building this look one of you guys reached out to me and asked if i would do more like winter outfits and so i thought I would just show you guys how I layer my looks and build a winter outfit. So right now I have on my Everlane striped tee and these amazing pants from Everlane. These are one of my favorite pairs of their pants. These are the 90s cheeky jean. So I just think they're very like leg lengthening and pretty flattering. Um, and then I have on my Everlane tread sneakers. I wanted to wear some comfy shoes for the zoo walk. Okay, so when it comes to layering for winter, I just make sure that my outfit looks good no matter what layer I take off. So I'm gonna show you how to layer three pieces, this t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a coat. I just got this coat off Facebook Marketplace. It's my first time ever purchasing from Facebook Marketplace. Got it for $30, how crazy is that? So I know today that I wanna wear this coat as part of my outfit. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it on, make sure it looks good with this t-shirt, and then pick my next layer, the sweatshirt, and make sure that that looks good with the coat as well. Here is the coat on over the top of the t-shirt, and I think it looks cute like this. I think everything goes together. You can kind of skip this part if you know that you're not going to be removing the sweatshirt or anything like that. You don't necessarily have to have the t-shirt match the coat, but I like to do that just because weather in San Francisco is kind of unpredictable. So maybe if it gets warmer, I don't want to be wearing the three layers and I can wrap the sweatshirt around my waist and then just wear the coat in the t-shirt or something like that. So these do go together fine and I like the outfit like this. So now I'm gonna add the sweatshirt on over the top. Okay, so here's the sweatshirt that I chose to wear. It's a little vintage, I don't know, William Penn Panthers sweatshirt that I thrifted a while back. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tuck here and the proportions look a lot better when it's tucked in. Okay, coat's on top. I like the way it looks. I think the whole outfit together looks cute, but um, final touches, I want to add a beanie because it's supposed to be like 57 or something, um, and I want to stay warm. I really love this beanie. I think it just, whoa, what is on my face? <laughs> Some black thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love this beanie. I wear it all the time you guys this outfit i think is cute and kind of quirky it's just very me with this like vintage graphic sweatshirt on underneath and then this new quilted coat that i got and my staple everlane pants and my tread sneakers and then you know if it gets hot boom i can just take off my coat and this outfit still looks cute together and so I'll be good to go. My trick for winter dressing is make sure that the layers go together so that no matter what layer you take off, your outfit will still look cohesive. And that's pretty much my just general rule of thumb when it comes to dressing for winter. I hope that was helpful for you guys. This is the final look. I will see you guys later, bye.
well, we just got back from the zoo and I just got a box from Everlane um, with some stuff that I requested. And so I thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing try on for you guys. And here I got some boots. Oh my gosh, oh, how beautiful. I'm so excited about these. Okay guys, this is the Western boot in the color Russet. It's a suede. It is such a beautiful color. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a new guy joining us. He got a little wolf at the zoo, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, so these boots are similar to the white Western boots that I got. I just love this style so much. I love that it has a pointy toe. It's so comfy. And um, I got this in a size seven, which I feel like they run true to size. My white ones are a seven and I like the way that they fit. So I got these in a seven as well. Yeah, these are gonna be so much fun to style up. I don't have a boot that is this color. So I can't wait to wear them. It's gonna be awesome, huh? Okay guys, I'm obsessed with this coat. Margo likes it too, huh, Margo? Yes so sweet. You're so sweet. So this is the wool Mackinac coat in oatmeal. They also have it in a navy blue color. So I got this in an extra small. Pretty much all of the coats from Everlane that I have are in an extra small. I don't know if that's helpful for you guys. So it's not lined at all. It has a zipper here. There's uh, no side pockets. Oh my gosh, no, there is a side pocket. What? Get out of here. It's like invisible almost. That's crazy. And it has two pockets here, but how cute is this? I'm not much of a cropped jacket type of person, but I think this is adorable. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm here for it, I love it. Also, I think it would be so cute, layered over like a long sleeve maxi dress and you throw this little cropped coat over the top of it, how cute would that be? And you could just winterfy your dresses and then put a beanie on, wear these boots with it too. So, so cute. So I just had to throw this beanie on because I love how this whole outfit looks together. It's so cute. So wintry and fun. I do have a couple more things I wanna show you guys. So I got this leather sling. It's like such a simple, little, fun, throw-on purse, sling thing. I thought I would jump on the bandwagon because how, just how convenient is that? And it's not just conveniently like a purse to carry your cell phone and your wallet in. It's also kind of like a necklace. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And this is my first attempt at trying this trend, but I really like it. And I can imagine that like going for walks with Margot and Monty and everything, this will be really nice to have. And then I don't have to carry like my whole purse or anything like that. So adorable, I love it. I will link all of these things that I'm talking about um, for you guys too in the description. Okay guys, here's the last thing that I requested. I really wanted to try their Perform leggings. Oh my gosh. The second I put these things on, I'm telling you, I felt like I was instantly fit. <laughs> I waltzed into the kitchen and asked Jason if I looked fit. Um, but these things, I'm telling you, feel so great on my body. I love them. I love the shape. So you can see there, it's like a nice high waist here and um, comes up. It's really great. I also like the seaming here and then it comes around the thigh. Now this is the best pocket <laughs> right here. Look at that. You know, this is so that when you're running and your hands get cold, you can just run like this. <laughs> Actually, I think it's for your phone. So one thing is when I pulled them out and I saw the length, I was like, oh, are these gonna be too short on me? But once I put them on, I think the length is like perfect. You know, I'm five, five and a half, five, six-ish. So I think where they hit is like, pretty perfect. And let me show you guys the back area, just in case you're wondering what the butt looks like. But yeah, these feel fantastic. Honestly, 
It's my favorite pair of workout leggings that I've ever put on in my life. And I'm not just saying that. They're fantastic. I love how high-waisted it is. Everything just feels great about these. I got them in a size small, if you're wondering. Yeah, pretty stoked to do some like yoga and get fit <laughs> for 2021, yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end it there for this video just because I have so much footage and I think it's just gonna be a really long video if I show you my outfits from the rest of the week. So also being a new mom, it's harder to film. So hopefully this is okay with you guys. Um, and let me know in the comments what outfit was your favorite. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the big news. We can't wait to share with you guys. It's gonna be awesome. And of course, remember you are beautiful just the way you are and you are loved just the way you are. All right, bye.